Hey everyone, so I'm going to clear up uh, one small thing that might cause a few of you some headaches. So uh, in particular it has to do with the properties of the score matchbox recommender and the evaluate recommender. So we talked about this in a previous video, but let me explain the problem you may run into and just uh, make sure we clear that up. And that is where we're trying to do a score matchbox recommender for an item recommendation, which means that you get a user ID and you return uh, some n number, in this case five product recommendations for that user. So in this case it's movies that we're referring to, and I've done an item recommendation for rated items. So as a reminder, the only reason I would want to come up with uh, ratings for prior or already rated items is so that I can evaluate the recommender and come up with that NDCG score. So I'll pause and let this run, and let's take a look at the score. Okay, here we go. So my evaluate recommender works only again because I set this to for rated items and so I can score it. Uh, visualizing this really is pointless because I'm looking at suggested movies for this user and these are the exact movies and it's the top five with the top five ratings that this user has already rated. So I don't really care about this because I'm not about to go recommend to that user movies they just barely watched. Rather the only reason I would do that is so I can get this metric right here. NDCG, great, 95.55%. So I write that down, and now it's time to put this uh, recommender to use in practice. So what I would do at this point is change score matchbox recommender to for unrated for rated items to for unrated items. Now, as soon as I do that, if I try to run it now, I'm going to get an error. Let me show it to you. Uh, evaluate, run. Okay, here it is. My first error is this one, and it says... Input training data is null or empty. So the first thing we learn is that I can't make a, a recommendation for unrated items without one more pill attached. That's because there's no, there's nothing to uh, these items have never been rated, so I can't uh, score for them. What I need to do is grab it's, it's a, as I hover over this input right here. It says training data. So training data always comes from the left side of split data. So in a split data, the training data is on the left. The, the testing data is on the right. So I grab the training data and make it an input to this one right here. So that'll solve that error. And when I run it, it's going to give me one more error. Let me show you. Well, it looks like uh, the, my free account of Azure ML Studio is running pretty slow today. Um, I've started and restopped this a few times and it's just taking forever. So uh, rather than show you, I'm just going to explain here. Um, when this does finish running, you're going to get a red X right here on Evaluate Recommender. That's because you can't do an evaluation with data that's never been rated before. Uh, there's no way to score it and see how accurate it would be. So when we do set score matchbox recommender to for, from unrated items, we always just delete evaluate recommender. And that's no problem because we, oh, I better hit stop first. Because we've already recorded the NDCG score previously. We record that when score matchbox recommender is set to from, unrated, from rated items and even tells you right there, you're only doing this for model evaluation. So when we're done evaluating the, the model and we want to do it for unrated items, uh, we don't need that evaluate recommender anyway. So we just delete it. We add this extra connection from split data into the far right, run it, and call it good. 